more than 5,000 Ethiopians have crossed into Kenya seeking refuge since March 10, the Kenyan Red Cross Society said on Tuesday. More refugees were expected to flock into Moy Al Town in Kenya stretching services there after nine civilians were killed in what the Ethiopian military said was a botched security operation targeting militants. The soldiers had been deployed to an area near the town of Moy Al in Oromia, a region that borders Kenya, in pursuit of Oromo Liberation Front fighters who had crossed into the country from Kenya. But faulty intelligence led soldiers to launch an attack that killed nine civilians and injured 12 others, the Ethiopian news agency said. Kenyan Red Cross Society said the population of refugees from Ethiopia continues to increase and was now estimated at 5,000. Refugees from Ethiopia had begun to arrive in Kenya on March 10, it said, adding that they were mostly women and children, including pregnant and lactating mothers chronically ill persons, those able differently and the elderly. Some of those fleeing had moved with their livestock, compounding pressure on struggling relief agencies, the Red Cross said. A medical team was further dispatched consisting of nurses, clinical officers, public health officers, as well as water, sanitation and hygiene officers, KRCS said in a statement. Security was Sunday reinforced on the side of Kenya and Moy Al Town to deal with the arriving refugees. We hope things cool down before the situation worsens. Many people have arrived but we have sought help from other agencies to deal with it, said a senior officer based in Moy Al who asked not to be named those arriving told Kenyan security agents electricity had been cut off from the town which forced the residents to flee into Kenya in fear of more attacks. Eastern Regional Police Boss Moses Ombadi said they had beefed up security in the area with other government agencies being involved in screening the arriving Ethiopians. We are on the ground to ensure things are okay, he said. The Oromo Liberation Front is a secessionist group, which the Ethiopian government describes as terrorist. Outbreaks of violence have continued in Oromia province even after Ethiopia declared a six-month nationwide state of emergency last month following the resignation of Prime Minister Hail Mary Amadisoln. Many other people have also been internally displaced. Ethiopia has said that five soldiers who took part in the attack